guys, it's Sierra. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be trying on clothes without looking at the size. So here's the thing, sizing is irrelevant. The number on the inside of a tag does not define your worth, your value at all. So we shouldn't worry about it, right? We should just buy clothes that fit our bodies the best and that make us feel the most confident. Perfect, right? Case closed, end of video. Thanks for watching. <laughs> In a perfect world, that's all it would be. But unfortunately, we all carry a little bit of bias, even me. I try to be as body positive as I can. I try not to worry about sizing at all, but there's still always that little bit of bias in the back of your head, thank you diet culture, that tells you that smaller is better. I try to fight that as much as I can and just buy clothes that fit my body well and make me feel comfortable. But today, we are going to be completely removing that bias by trying on clothes in a bunch of different sizes without me actually knowing what size it is. And then I'll be guessing what size I think each item is. And Skylar ordered all of these clothes, so I don't even know what size things are. I don't know what brand things are from. Right now, I think my typical size is around an extra large, a 1X, a 0X, or a 14. So I had Skylar order a bunch of clothes without me knowing the size, ranging from a medium to a 3X. And we're gonna try them on, so let's do it. Okay, so for each item I'm trying on, Carly took little labels and covered not only like the size number, but also the brand so that I can't like guess what size would be based on past experience with the brand. Like I'm truly just going on fit. So let's try it on. Okay, so here is our first item, this little like gray denim daisy embroidered shirt. It needs a little bit of tweaking and styling. I rolled up one sleeve, but I wanted to leave this one unrolled when I first tried it on so you guys could see the fit. If I was gonna wear this, I would probably either tuck it into like white jeans, roll up both sleeves, or tie it like this to give some waist definition and then just kind of like fluff it out. I would say this shirt fits like perfectly on me. It's not too baggy or loose where I'm losing any shape, but the buttons aren't pulling at all. I actually really like this shirt. I feel like there's a lot of different ways that I could wear it. It's very unique. I would say this is my size. Like if I went into the dressing room and tried this on, I would be like, perfect. Don't need to size up. Don't need to size down. So I'm gonna guess that this is an extra, extra large because usually I size up one size in button down shirts because sometimes these pull. So Carly, what size is it? A 1X. A 1X from? Torrid. Torrid, okay. I think an extra, extra large is the equivalent of a 1X, right? Yes, possibly. So pretty accurate. I feel like this is perfect for me. Okay, so here is our next item, this little yellow dress, which I love the idea of this dress. I really like the color, I like the sleeves, but it's a little bit too small on me. I don't think this dress is meant to be fitted and it's definitely fitting me a little bit fitted. The buttons on the top especially are pulling and I feel like it is clinging to my stomach a little bit. I think I could wear this, like I'm not, you know, busting out of it, but I don't think it fits me as well as it could. So I kind of want to go exchange this dress for a bigger size. It is so cute. What size do I think it is? Um, I think this is a standard sized dress. Is it numbered sizes or like lettered sizes? Lettered. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go large. Yeah. It's a large? Yeah. Okay. I got it right. So I would probably size up to an extra large in this. Oh, and where's it from? Madewell. Uh, of course I liked it. It's from Madewell. <laughs> So next up, we have this little like black lacy fringe kimono. I really like this and I really like the way it looks over this dress too. I think it's a really cute look, very like Stevie Nicks. In my experience, things like this tend to just be one size fits all. But the question is, is it one size fits all standard size or from like a plus size store? I would say this fits me. I would say it's my size. I'm gonna guess it's one size fits all from Torrid. No, what is it? One size fits all from American Eagle. Oh, okay, so, but I was on the right track with the one size fits all. I like this, it's pretty cute. I'm doing pretty good on the guessing so far. Are you guys surprised or no? No, you're very competitive, I'm not surprised at all. You have a lot of experience in clothes. That is yeah, true. Like you're a fashion channel. Both of those things are true. So we'll see if I can keep this streak going. We have this really cute, like striped sweater. Is this, what do they call this, like waffle? Oh, I like, see it thermal. like thermal. Thermal, yeah. It's like that like thermal kind of like checkered material. I love this. I would say this is like the perfect size for me if I was just gonna wear it tucked into jeans. If I wanted a more oversized look with like leggings or something, I would probably want a size up because it doesn't really go down far enough to give me enough like coverage on my butt. And while it does fit me fine here, I think I could size up. So I'm gonna guess this is 
is an extra large? It's a 2X. A 2X? That's surprising. Okay, this is the first one I didn't get right on the money. What brand is it from? Manuel. Manuel. Okay, I was gonna guess American Eagle because I feel like this is very American Eagle-esque, but I can see Madewell. This is the first one that's really surprised me. This does not fit me the way I would expect a 2X to fit me. But like I said, I could even size up in this. I'm really surprised at this one. Okay, we've got a twofer for this one. We've got this nice little boxy crop and these loose fitting shorts. I say loose fitting because I'm assuming they're supposed to fit loose, but they don't fit me as loose as I would like. The waist fits me really nicely. It is elastic, so I feel like it's hugging my curves without me like squeezing out the top. But the legs, and I have this problem with a lot of like flowy shorts and flowy pants, I feel like the legs are just a little bit too small for my thighs. I'm a thick thigh girl. I need the extra room. And while they look fine, you know, I think I could wear these just for my personal taste. I think they're a little bit small here. I'm gonna guess they're an extra large. No. They're a medium. A medium, really? Mm -hmm. From what brand? Do you want to guess? Uh, American Eagle? Nailed it. Okay, because I, I know American Eagle, their sizing is kind of like all over the place sometimes. I don't think a medium would usually fit me from them, but that's the thing too. It's like sometimes things run big, sometimes they run small, but I would probably, I would probably size up one size in these just to get a little bit more room in the leg. And I'm usually an extra large at American Eagle, sometimes even an extra, extra large in the bottoms. So normally I would have just defaulted to that, getting probably an extra large or an XXL off the hanger. And then they wouldn't have fit me and I probably would have just moved on to the next piece when these are actually really cute. I just need like one size up. This shirt with this nice loose fitting boxy crop top. This to me is like a perfect pajama shirt, but I do think it is a little bit too loose for me. I think I'm kind of losing some of my shape in this. So I would probably size down one size in this. I'm gonna guess that it's a 2X, extra large. <laughs> <laughs> so it's an extra large from uh, Target. American no. Eagle. Oh, okay, American Eagle again. So I guess both of these pieces just fit big. This coat is giving me, uh, you know what vibes it's giving me? It's giving me like when I dressed up as Sexy Hagrid for my Halloween video. Honestly, I just needed this trench coat and it would have been perfect. Yeah, I don't know if this coat is just supposed to be kind of loose and oversized or if it's just not in my size, but I feel like this is doing nothing for my figure. It does have, does it have a cinch waist? Okay, so I can cinch the waist a little bit, but it doesn't have like a, a zipper or anything. It's meant to just be worn open. It's kind of just a weird piece. <laughs> like it's kind of a jacket, but it doesn't have a hood and it doesn't zip up, but it also doesn't really look like a pea coat. It's just kind of like a, a faceless trench coat, I guess. I'm gonna guess that it's uh, 2X. No. 3X? Nailed it. Oh, okay. Um, then I'm gonna guess it's from Target's plus size section. No. Tore it? Nailed it. Okay. I would say that a 3X doesn't fit me as loose as I would expect. Maybe I can wear a 3X in some items at Torrid. It's worth a shot at least next time in the future because while this is definitely too loose for me, it's not as loose as I would expect it to fit with my like unconscious sizing bias, you know? Just goes to show that the tag size that we see has literally no bearing and sometimes doesn't even affect the way an item fits. Another twofer, we have this striped t-shirt and these really fun like wide leg pants. They're not really denim, they fit more like trousers, but they're like a light kind of like speckled color. I think it's really cool. Let's start with the pants. I'll go ahead and tuck this shirt in. Or should I tuck it in? Should I tie it? I'll tie it so we can see the waist. So these pants are kind of an anomaly to me because I just don't think this cut of a pant is gonna be right for my body based on where it's fitting me right, where it's not. So I would say the thighs fit like perfect. The thighs and the butt actually. I would say this fits me exactly the way I would want it to. But I think the problem is, so they're super loose in the waist and also like kind of in the crotch area. I have like extra fabric. So while I could belt them to solve this problem, I would still have this problem. But if I size down, they'd probably fit me here. And then my thick thighs would be being squeezed and it wouldn't look as cute. Which is a bummer because I just feel like these pants are so cute. I'm gonna guess that they're made well because I recently tried on a bunch of made well pants and had kind of the same issue. Honestly, I would put money on this that I'm gonna get the size exactly right because I just did that thrifted outfits video where I tried on a 35 petite from Madewell and they fit exactly like this, like same problems, same fit in the leg, same fit in the waist. So I'm gonna guess these are a 35 petite from Madewell. And that's another thing is that sometimes even when you get the sizing right, the proportions or the style or the cut just isn't right for your body and that's 
a time when I really have to remind myself that the clothes are the problem, my body is not the problem. It's not that I need smaller thighs or a bigger waist, it's just that these pants are not cut with my dimensions in mind, and that's fine. These are an item that if I tried them on in the dressing room, I would just be like, thank you, next. Bye bye So let's move on to the top. So we have this black and white striped, very soft, very comfy t-shirt. I feel like this could look really cute tied up like I had it before or tucked into a cute little pair of mom jeans. Maybe add a hat. You could wear your unfiltered hat. Get it now, thecurvycrew.com. I'd say it's pretty much the right size for me, maybe slightly big. So I'm gonna guess that this is an extra large or an extra, extra large. We've had a lot from Torrid, so I'm gonna guess Torrid. It's Torrid and it's a 2X. A 2X, okay. So I feel like Torrid sizing is surprising me. This is the second item that I've been surprised by from Torrid. Okay, this jumpsuit is interesting because as I picked it up to put it on, I was like, okay, this looks very small. The material doesn't feel like it has a lot of give. I think this is gonna be one of the ones that Skylar ordered in a smaller size, but then I put it on and it fits me like perfectly. I have just enough room in the legs, but it's not so much room that I'm losing like definition anywhere. And I feel like jumpsuits are one of those items for me that my sizing can be all over the spectrum. And also I try on a lot of jumpsuits and then just immediately realize that no matter what size I try, this piece is just not for me. So it's very interesting that in trying on clothes without knowing the sizes, we unknowingly found like the perfect jumpsuit for my proportions in the right size. I'm gonna guess this is an extra extra large from American Eagle. Wrong on both counts. Dang it! It's made well and it's in an XL. Really? Yeah. I feel like the fit and the sizing at Madewell was all over the place in this video. I mean, honestly, at all the brands, it was just kind of all over the place. But I feel like that's part of shopping with a plus size body. I'm usually on like the high end of standard sizes, the low end of plus sizes. And so a lot of the times it just feels like clothes aren't constructed for me, which is very interesting that this is from Madewell, a brand I really like, in the size I typically wear an extra large. Just goes to show you, sizing means absolutely nothing. Your worth and your value as a human is not determined by the number or the letter on the inside of a tag. And I think this video just really reinforced for me that I should be worrying about fit and not about the number. But it is so easy to get wrapped up in this idea that like I'm always a 14 or I'm always an extra large when really it can vary. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be selling all the clothes that I tried on that I don't wanna keep on my Poshmark and all profits from my Poshmark are donated to charity. So check it out, I'll have it linked in the description. And if you wanna support me and the channel, be sure to check out my merch at thecurvycrew.com. We have little be kind to your body decals that look super cute on like a water bottle or a laptop. We have unfiltered hoodies and hats, lots of cute stuff. So check it out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this little guest the size challenge. I think it was really interesting. It might be fun to do this with like specific brands, you know? But let me know what you think. Do you want to see more videos like this? Did you enjoy this one? Did you not? That's okay too. Either way, thank you for watching. Be confident, be kind to your body, and I'll see you on Friday with another new video. Bye!